Hi guys and welcome to another Elementor video. This is Jamie from System22 and WebDesignandTechTips.com. Well in our last video we did this sort of image to text on fade hover effect and we did it the other way around text to image on fade. In this one today we're going to do a similar thing but we're going to have um, the text spinning a bit like some of those old newspaper ads you used to see. Really easy to do with Elementor. Then we'll flip it around and do it the other way so you've got text spinning out to the image. So let's get started. I've got my page open here. And to do this, uh, we're using three columns to separate the images here because the actual images themselves are located in the columns. If I just used two, then they'd be butted up against each other there, which may be fine for some instances, but this is the way I like to do it. So let's go back to our grid. Let's add a text editor or whatever module you want. This will work on pretty much any module. Okay, so there it is. I'm going to add a new column, this little dark icon there. Right click, add new column. And I'm going to repeat. So we've got one in the middle as a buffer. And now I'm just going to drag these in. 48.5 there we go so we got that little buffer in between our two there okay well let's decorate our little text module here so I'm going to go into the text module itself I'm going to leave that exactly how it is and I'll just add a bit of a title yeah. now let's make this heading 2 Obviously, you make yours exactly how you want it. Okay, I'm going to go over to style. I just want to align this in the middle. That's pretty much what I'm all going to do right there. And I want it to be a bit bigger, so it's almost square. It doesn't have to be perfectly square. And to do that, I'm just going to add a bit of padding. I'm going to take the little check mark off because I want different for top and bottom as I do left and right. So I'm going to give it 100 top and bottom. I'll we'll give it 30 left and right. And the more space you give it top and bottom, the more uh, of the image you'll actually see. So play with it and get it how you want it. Uh, but this seems to work for me with the layout I've got at the moment. OK. So there's our little module looking about the size we want it. Now let's go into our row here. And there's a bit of a gap between the start of the row, the dotted line there, and the outside of the actual widget or module. So I want to take that away and that's just a bit of padding I believe in the column. So let's go into the column, the little dark one right there. As you can see it says column up here now. First thing I'm going to do is get rid of that padding. Now I'm just going to go in there, I'll leave that chain check this time, it'll do all four at once. I'm going to set that to zero and there we are. We've now got them on top of each other. Perfect. Okay, well let's go to our style. And we'll put in a background, background type. It says slideshow, but if you just put one in, image in, it's just going to be an image background because it has nothing to revolve to. I guess I'll use that same image we used before. There we go. And as you can see, our column's got that nice image in the background. And our text module on top has just got text in it. And I need to go back to our text module now and change the color of this text so we can actually see it. So let's do that. Go up and click on the little blue tab with the white pencil in there. It'll take you to your text editor again. What I'm going to do is go to Style, Typography and Text Color right here. I'm just going to make that white so we can see it. And again, like everything else, you make yours just how you want to. I'm just doing this for an example. OK, if you need to make your text stand out a bit more, perhaps you've got a multicolored image in the background and some of this is getting lost in it, we can give our module a bit of a background and bring the opacity or see-throughness down so we can see through. But it'll just make that text a little bit sharper. So let's go to Advanced, down to Background. And I'm going to give it a color this time. And I'm going to choose Black. 
and this will work with any color you choose just play with it get it how you want I'm going to bring the opacity or see-throughness down so we can still see quite a lot of that image if I bring it up it just makes that that writing stand out a bit more if you do this and some images you're just going to have to do it because you won't be able to read it if they're sort of multicolored in the background there great so I think that's all pretty legible there right then let's make the magic happen I've actually got the pro version here um, that's got a custom CSS box down the bottom that you can use this will work equally well with the free version you'll just have to do it in your theme customizer in your additional CSS panel if I go back most WordPress themes or at least all the ones I know have a customizer and in the customizer you're going to find additional CSS or custom CSS a place to put your custom CSS and I'll show you exactly at the end of this video how to do it with a free version okay so we're in the custom CSS first thing we need to do we need to give this a class and what we want to happen is we just want to see the image when we're not hovering over it and then when we hover over it we want the, the text to sp spin in so I'm going to go to advanced here we're still on the advanced tab advanced at the top so I'm going to give it the class of TXS for text spin okay you can call yours anything you want just make it something that you'll recognize and something that's unique now we can go back down to our custom CSS so all classes have to have a dot so it's dot or period T X S the text spin open and close some curly brackets and don't worry about copying this while I'm doing it I'll put any CSS I write today under the video you're welcome to copy it and use it if you wish okay what do we want it to do well when we're not hovering which is this one at the moment we want it not to be there so let's make it transparent we do that with opacity O P A C I T Y colon zero it should disappear as soon as I put the zero in yep now when we spin and bring it back in how long do we want it to take I want mine to take about a second and a half maybe a bit long for some people but works for this demonstration and that's transition duration so we're going to say transition dash duration colon and the time amount so I'm going to say 1.25 seconds okay and nothing's going to happen yet because we haven't set the hover state and the hover state obviously is when the mouse is on it to set the hover state let's just copy this drop down a couple paste it in there and after the s of txs let's put a colon and we want to say hover no space between the end of the s and the colon and no space between the colon and the word hover if you put a space in there it won't work okay so it's invisible there we want to make it fully visible which is opacity one and you can go from 0 0 0.1 0 0.2 to put it in in grades if you wish don't need the transition duration because it's not changed so now at least it's fading in just like the one we had before in fact let's make that 1.5 okay and what we want it to do is rotate instead of just fading in like that I want it to rotate I want it to spin in and to do that we need to say transform rotate and we'll do this in the regular state not the hover state let's transform rotate open and close some round brackets this time and how much do we want it to rotate by well I'm going to say we could do one revolution which would be minus 360 but for fun I'm going to make it two so let's say minus 720 degrees so inside our round brackets there negative 720 degrees DEG and nothing's happening because we haven't told it to rotate to zero degrees on the hover so we can just simply copy this 
drop down. Now it's going to rotate in, but let's set that to zero or else it won't rotate in. Zero degrees, which is right side up basically. And we're going to have one little problem. And when I hover over it, you're going to see that little problem. There we go. Now you see it's spinning in there, which is fine, just what we want it to do. But when it's spinning, we've got the corners sort of spilling out of this square here. I really don't want that. So we can write another little bit of code to stop that happening. We need to apply the code to the column itself. So let's go into the column, little black icon up there, column at the top. And again, let's go to advanced. Okay, I'm gonna create a class of OHD, which will say is overflow hidden. Now we actually have to write that custom CSS now. So if we go down to our custom CSS box, we can simply put the class name dot OHD for overflow hidden. And again, you call yours whatever you want, just as long as you know what it is. Open and close some curly brackets. Inside, we're going to write overflow, funnily enough, colon hidden semicolon. Now when I hover over it, those corners should not spill out of the column there. There we go. It's staying within the column itself, which is what I want. Great. So how easy was that? Now obviously you can reverse it and do, do the opposite. You can have the text there first and then when you hover over it you can have it spin out to the image. So let's do that. Let's go into this next door column. What I'll do is I'll copy this module right here, I'll duplicate it, Just simply go up to the top, right click, hit duplicate, pull one of them, it doesn't matter which one, over to your next column there. So we've got something in there now. Now this one, we need to put an image in our background there, take away the background, sort out the padding just like we did on the other one. Go into the column first. I'm going to go over to advance. And while I'm in here, let's get rid of the padding, same as we did on the other one, so that the image is filling out the whole of the column. I want to give it that same class of over, overflow hidden, OHD, or whatever you've called yours. So if we go into our little text module here, you'll notice it's got the same custom CSS as our first one. So this TXS for text spinning, let's do IMS for image spinning. I'm just changing the first two letters to IM and you can change yours to what you want. Now obviously we need to change the class up here as well in our advanced IMS. Now we just need to tweak our CSS to get it all around the right way. And if we think about what we want here, I want to see the, the text like the one above. So I want to see the text. And then when we de-hover, we want to see the image. There's no image in there yet. So let's go into our row, put an image in our column there. Down the image. Now I use my little parrot that I've been using, that little fella right there. There he is. And again, it's our column's already got that overflow class, OHD. So anything with OHD is not going to show overflow, so that's working fine. So we just need to go back in now to our little module right here. And we need to flip the CSS a little bit. So we want our text to be visible initially when we're not hovering over it. And it wants to be invisible when it spins out. So I flip those round to one and zero for the bottom. As you can see, there it is. Now I don't want to see that image, so we can give this a colored background. There's a background right there. And I'll just give it a plain white background, which is the same as the, the site background here. Now it's white writing on a white background, so 
that's not much good. So what we need to do is go into style and change the color of that writing text color to something that we can see. There we go. Now when we hover over it, as you can see, it spins out and our image is visible. So it's kind of the opposite of this one right here. And those are some great little effects. Let's save our changes. And preview. Go on down to where we were. Here we are. There's the text spin in. And here's the text spin out. Really easy to do. And they're great little effects to have on your site. If somebody mouses over that, that's going to get their eyes on it immediately. And as you've seen, it's pretty easy to do. And Element is such a great program. So I hope you've enjoyed that and found it useful. If you have, please ring the bell, give it a thumbs up, comment, share, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Once again, this has been Jamie with System22 and webdesignandtechtips.com. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.